eat them with it but i've actually not tried it since i've been here so today is going to be my first time trying this i've been in this country for for some couple of months and i really 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 want you guys sierra leoneans please invest in your country oh if you are watching on a bigger screen i'm sure you will see that is free town that is free town Welcome to my channel once again. Um, today, um, I'm just I'm still in Lunge in Sierra Leone, Lunge, and um, I just want to show you a little bit um, around this place and also let you know the kind of opportunities that you can find in Lunge. Um, I feel like there are enormous opportunities here, but people are not really tapping into it. So today, this is basically what I want to do. So follow me let's go and see what they have there's actually the government hospital this is the government hospital so um if you are someone that um, is uh, looking forward to come to sierra leone or sierra leonean basically abroad anybody who wants to um, come and invest in sierra leone I feel like Lunge has a lot of opportunities that people are not tapping into. So um, be smart, come around and invest. That's the best thing you can do for yourself and for your country. Let's go. You know, one thing that I like about this place is, um, look, um, I think when I came, this place was a bare land, but the little land that um, you can find in Lunge, when it's rainy season, people just don't leave it just like that. They try to plant something or grow something on, on the land. So this is something that is very common when you come to Lunge. And I think they are very popular in Sierra Leone, mainly for the uh, um, onions. Yes, yeah, so this is something that I have um, seen and I just want to share with you that it's actually a nice place um, if I'm not mistaken it's actually a nice place uh, very cool this particular streets I really love the streets very cool I'm um, uh, very cool uh, very serene there is no much going on here uh, even the infrastructure or the structures around are not really uh impressive like that so they are not like modern infrastructure uh, like infrastructures but at least all this place is still part of the hospital all this place is still part of the hospital but I, as i said you can see people have already harvested this time around and they are coming to plant again you see that's how serious they are when it comes to garden you like or farming basically that's how serious they are so they are making their beds they are making their beds as you can see they are making their beds this place is just 
I love this particular street. I've actually, um, like the first time that I actually came here, I just fell in love with the place, the way it is, and um, it's very quiet, very very quiet, and you don't. It's not crowded, you know. I'm the kind of person that you don't really want um, places that are a bit crowded, and also people are not tapping as i said people are not tapping into the opportunities that they have here in lunge um people are not tapping into the opportunities that they have here in lunge yes they are people are not tapping into it at all and i feel like if people are tapping into the opportunities because this is where they have their airport the whole of sierra leone this is where they have their international airport so wherever you come from, you are going to land here. You are going to land here in Lungi. Then if you want to go to Freetown, you, you take a car or a, a motorbike from the airport. You take a car and a motorbike from the airport. Then from here, right straight right to uh, to the shore you know they have um i will take you there in this video i really want to show you a lot i want to show you where and uh, when they come and you have the money you can get a boat an actual boat that can take you from um, right from the airport to uh, they call a seabed and they also have sea coach and again they also have the ferry so all, all these places are there the ferry is very cheap the ferry is a, a bit cheaper than all this uh, the sea coach and the seabed so the sea coach they have a boat the seabed they have a boat that um i don't know the monies that they pay at sea coach but when it comes to seabed i know that they pay 45 dollars so you will pay 45 dollars right for, um like when you come from the airport um you get to you take a motorbike or a car and this sea coach and seabed they have the uh, station they actually have um their station in the airport so all you have to do is go there if you want to use the uh, services they also have cars around i don't know whether you will pay for that car too so they take you right from the airport straight to their place and do what take you right from the seabed on the boat to the capital uh, like Freetown, the capital Freetown. So that's what has been going on. But I'll show you in this video all these places for you to see. Maybe the only place that I cannot take you to because it's very far is the ferry junction. But I will try my best and take you from here to um, the seabed first because that's what we are going to meet first. Then from here, um, like, like from there, we will go to the sea coach area. Then I'll take you to the uh, first ever international airport. That's um, the old airport. Yes. So that's where we are going. So stay tuned. Watch this video till the end. Let's go. You see the structures around. Mostly they are like old, old, old structures. Old, old, old structures. You see this little space that a person has gotten they've made their bed and they want to plant i i'm telling you even even this place they've planted something this is one thing that i love about lungi they don't they don't waste space they don't wait like waste space at all whenever there is rain you know this rain started um let's say around uh june july thereabouts and just look at what they've been able to do. Everybody, they are just taking advantage of the opportunity that they've had, like they've gotten. They make beds and they start planting. This is what they do, mostly in Lunge, as you can see. The little opportunity they get, they plant something. So, I just love this place, I must say um the airport is just around this area the airport is just around this area the airport is just around this area
<laughs> so this is actually the place. Um, this is, I think, one particular house that I would say it's a bit nicer in this area. This house is one house that I would say it's a bit nicer in this. And unless I, like, let's I forget, um, this wall that you see, I learned it's a senior high school. It's a secondary school here. It's a senior high school. It's a senior high school. It's a senior high school. Here, you will not see much uh, cars going up and down on the road. It's mostly motorbikes. So if you have a motorbike here, you are safe. I think the house, they are trying to put up another structure, as you can see. Trying to put up another structure, as you can see. I just love the streets. Um, I just, trust me, I just love this area. Very cool, very quiet. Um, any, see, the opportunities in Lunge, um, for me being a Ghanaian coming here to see the opportunities, I don't know if um, you being um, a Sierra Leonean, whether you are in Sierra Leone or outside Sierra Leone. I actually came here to, I actually came to Sierra Leone basically to build for a client and coming here, this is what I've actually seen. Yes, I came here to build for a client and coming here, this is what I have actually seen. And I feel like people from Sierra Leone or even outside Sierra Leone should tap into the opportunities here. But I will share with you some of the opportunities that I think people can tap into. You see? So let's go. There are enormous opportunities here. This place that you see, um, I lent its um, government quarters government quarters for government workers so as you can see in africa mostly i don't know um why um the government anything anything that belongs to the government doesn't look nice i don't i just don't know most of the things that belong to the government especially some of these things like i don't know i just don't know but um i think this is someone's house they do build um, long walls. I think most of the houses that I've seen fenced here in Lunge, they build long walls, long, long, long walls, yes. But we're actually in the rainy season, so if you are seeing water on the side, on, on, on the side of the road, you should know it's, um, you should know that it's, uh, like what's the name? Um, it's raining season, that's why you are seeing water all, all over. But all these places that you see, they are government quarters. And even for them to, they are not playing. <laughs> you see someone is trying to make their bed, his bed, and also start planting. It's something that is very common here in Lunge. And I really love that thing because, Charlie, food is everything. If Imagine even in the cities. Um, government is actually uh, making a provision for this thing to be done, like every house to do this in front of the house, instead of maybe planting unnecessary flowers or whatever, you plant food. That would be a very, very big thing. That would be a very, very big thing. That would be a very, very big thing. This is someone's house. Someone's house. So I love Lungi. I I must say, see farm, garden, all over, planting something in front of their houses. They made birds. See, people just love to farm here. I learned um, this was actually a place mainly for that. And this is something that um, Lunge is known for, but I think nowadays people are um, building houses instead of going into farming more. 
So mm-hmm. that's um, the reason why perhaps it has reduced a bit. But I think they are still doing it. Looking at everything, they are still doing it. They are still doing it. And for me, I, I love it, to be honest. I really, really, really love it. I really, really, really love it. I must say. Birds, birds, they are making birds. They are making birds. People have actually ha- uh, harvested their crops not long ago and they are planting again because, you know, around this time, definitely it is going to, around this time, it is going to uh, rain again still. So people are just planting. People are just planting are trying to make their best and plant again. Most of this area, this particular area that I am, especially this side, um, this side, it's, 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 it's mainly government quarters that you're seeing. Government quarters all over, government quarters all over. Government quarters all over. And I think these are private lands, but behind these um, lands, that's where the airport is. Behind these lands, that's where the airport is. Behind this land, that's where the airport is sent. We are actually around the airport. I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, we are actually around the airport. We are still outside the airport. Uh, like around the airport. Yes, it's not far from here. It's just around this area, just behind. They have a very huge land that. They actually have a very huge land. To be honest, I really love the area. There are lands here that people are selling, but I don't know why Sierra Leoneans are not investing in their country. I don't know why. To be honest, if you are from Sierra Leone and you are abroad, <laughs> let me know. You know, in, in, in Lunge, um, there is something that uh, I think the government is trying to, that's what I've actually heard that the government wants to um, build a bridge connecting Lunge to Freetown. And for me, from my observation and what I have actually seen, trust me, the moment the government decides to start this particular project, what is this? Hing Liver. Hing Liver. How much? Two million one million. Two million one million. Let me see. I've actually been wanting to try Sierra Leonean um, street food, and I don't know. Say it's called Hind Driver or something. So um, I just want to try. Uh, give me one, just one, because I can't. I don't know how it will taste. Okay. I mostly see them with it. Just look at the way it looks like. I mostly see them with it, but I've actually not tried it since I've been here. So today is going to be my first time trying this. <laughs> what do you use to make it? Flour and what? Sugar. Oil and sugar. Oil and sugar. So you fry. Or you bake? Bake. You bake it? Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. See? Motorbike is the thing here. Motorbike is the thing here. Everybody. If you have a motorbike in Lunge, I'm telling you. You are going to see another bird that has been made. And I'm sure they've even planted already. Uh, it's not up yet. People are just doing gardens all over. That's how this area is, all these places.
See, I think, I think this thing is not bad. See, Hing Glover or Hing Glover or something. I don't, I, I did not hear the name well, but I think it's not bad. It's, it's, it's a bit okay. Um, they say they bake it. It's very nice. But you know, you see this metal fence that you see. This metal fence that you see is part of the airport land. So I told you, the airport is just around the corner. This is the airport, but this is not the entrance. This is at the back of it. So we are trying to go right from here to the old airport, not to the new airport. But I will make a video to show you the new airport too. So don't worry. Maybe that will be the next video after this. So you see someone there farming or making a garden or whatever. Trust me. Um, all these places just i think in lunge here this is the ministry of housing and country planning ministry of housing and country planning this so farming maize people are just doing what they are supposed to do. And this is one thing that I love about Lungi, trust me. Food is everything. If you don't have food. Food is everything. So this metal fence that you see is the airport. Far ahead. That's the airport fence. So we are very close to the airport. This place is very cool. Um I really love this place. Hey, there is some noise going on here. And I think I don't know. Uh, too much noise. Too much noise. People are just farming maize. Shop. Um, organizing shop for uh, how do I say yeah. basically what you see this area that you're seeing this is the back of the police station in Lunge this is the back of the police station this is where the police station is so they have a police station close by this is where the police station is. Most of the houses that you see around are just like old houses. Old houses, old, old houses. So when it comes to better infrastructure, that's building especially. So this is the police station far ahead with a blue and white building. That blue and white building. That is the police station. That is the police station. That is the police station. Oh, Charlie, it is raining. It has started raining and I don't know. started raining I don't know whether it's going to rain very hard or just drizzling people are working
So as you can see, this is a fence. This metal fence that you see is for the airport. The metal fence that you see is the airport fence. But this is actually not the entrance. The entrance is far ahead. And um, you, you know they have an old airport that um, is not working now because they have a new one. Um, I don't know, but I feel like um, in Ghana, um when we wanted to or the government wanted to build a terminal three three after building the terminal three um they used the old airport that's terminal one uh, terminal two sorry terminal two as um terminal two as um, the domestic air like for domestic airlines and the terminal three for international so Maybe in the future, that's what this country will do. It is raining. I started drizzling, and that's a problem for me now. I don't know. We pray <laughs> these rains will not come or become very heavy. But I want to show you this area. Really, really, really. I really want to show you this area. <laughs> Motorbikes, as I said, is everything here. Motorbikes. <laughs> when it comes to moving from one place to the other, it's motorbike. Moving from one place to the other, it's motorbike. As I said, it's motorbike. All these lands I lent, it's government lands. So that's why I think you've not seen anyone building on, on it. Yeah. I think this place, um, it started raining since June. It started raining since June and it has been raining since, I think coming to the end of June, it started raining since June, July, August. It has been raining, it has been raining. It rains a lot here, especially in Lunge. So this is um, a special entrance for, I think, the president. That's what I, 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 I heard. And this is where you pass. Um, when they, they, they bring you from the airport, Seabird. I told you when you want to take a boat from this side, when you want to take a boat, yeah, like from Seabird to Freetown, this is the place. So you take a car from the airport you take a car from the airport then from there they bring you here so from here you go to they take you to seabird and this is their road and this is where i'm taking you to for you to see seabird for you to see seabird for you to at least have a view of seabird so we are lucky. It seems like this car is this car that is coming is a seabed car. I don't know whether it is taking passengers to um, the airports, but this is the type of car that takes passengers from the seabed to the airports. And when you want to come back, like you are coming to the country too, and you want to go to Freetown, this is the same car that will bring you right from. They have other cars though. That will bring you from the airport to the seabed area. Then from here, you drive, uh, like they take you on a boat straight to Freetown, the capital. So this is their road, as I, sh I showed you, this is their road from here. They take you right from here to, it is raining. It is raining, this is the problem. It's not, not, I would say it is drizzling, yeah. But it is even going down a bit. So, let me show you. Yes. So, 
So this is their place. As you can see, like you are seeing far ahead, this is the seabed. This is the seabed and this is uh, Lunge Beach. And you've seen a lot of canoes on. So I don't know if you can see far ahead. That is a boat. The boat that they normally use right from here to Freetown, the capital. Right from here to Freetown, the capital. The coastal areas looks a bit nice. I think um, it's because of um, this season, you are seeing all these debris at the shore. But I think the right time, the sea will take it back. At the right time, the sea will take it back. So this is the seabed. This is their office. This is the seabed. This is their office. The water, I think, is full to capacity. Because the last time that I came here, it wasn't like this. No, 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 no. I never saw anything like this. Jeez. The water is full now. The water is very, very full to capacity. Jeez. It's when you try to take you away, because, uh, Lord, see this. Jeez. So this is the seabed, you know? So when you come, the boats, I'm sure there are no passengers yet, so. Cheese, 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 cheese. There are lots. Cheese. Look at the damage here. Crazy. This thing is really full today. I've never seen it become full like this before. And the shore is now dirty again. It was very clean. But now just look at the place. And it has been raining, so I understand. This one is getting full. And, uh, and the water that is also coming from the top, it's also coming into the sea. So I understand. It has become full to capacity. Jeez. You see canoes on on the sea. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So let's continue our journey. Let's continue our journey. Let's continue our journey. So we are going. I'm taking you to the old airport, and this is what I want to do. But let me speak to you quickly. See, the kind of opportunities that's coming here, I have seen. At least I've shown you a bit of this area. And just look at, see, forget about the government lands. There are no more lands around. That's, you don't see any better hotels like modern design hotels um like the place a place that has the airport doesn't really have much in this town they don't really have much they don't really have much i think the government is putting up maybe something because this is a government land so i learned they are putting up something here they don't really have much. They don't really have much. There are the opportunities, as I said, there are a lot of opportunities here in Lunge, but I don't know why people are not tapping into the opportunities that they have in Lunge here. See, when it comes to, um, if I'm using Ghana as an example, around Ghana airport, the lands around Ghana airport, I'm telling you, you cannot buy them. You cannot buy the lands around Ghana Airport because it's so expensive because the place is like a hotspot. If you live around the airport, 
that's one of the rich neighborhoods in Ghana. You see, by coming here and the airport being here for so many years, but development is not coming here and everything, and every development is taken to Freetown. Every development is taken to Freetown. That is not a good thing for me. And I'm sure for a lot of Sierra Leoneans or people from Lunge, because you see, Lunge has a very beautiful landscape. Lunge has one of the best, or uh, one of the most beautiful landscapes that you can think of. But when it comes to development, they have actually been left behind. I think um, if we are talking about uh, one thing that makes this place, um, maybe people talk about this place or come to this place, definitely is going to be the airport. Apart from the airport, nothing else. Apart from the airport, nothing else. So it's like, apart from the airport, nothing goes on here. When it comes to, and they have a beautiful beach front. They have a very beautiful beaches. Like when you come in a particular season, today I showed you it was very dirty because of the season. But when all these things are not around, this place is very beautiful, trust me. And um, I don't know what people are actually doing to make this place a better place. I know definitely that the government is supposed to construct this bridge because it is the, it is the most important thing that if the, that, like the government does that, trust me, um, a lot of people from Freetown will even move to Lunge because People are fed up with Freetown, I know, definitely. I've spoken to a lot of people. The hills, and also when it's raining season, it floods a lot and a lot of people get unalived. Their buildings collapse and all that. So, hey, these are some of the problems in Freetown. And Freetown is crowded, too noisy and all that. So if you have a very cool area like this to live, and from here going to the capital is not that far, you see? It's not that far. That's why they are even thinking of building a bridge connecting here, Lunge and Freetown. So if the government is able to do that, then I'm telling you, this place is going to be one of the best places in Sierra Leone. In Sierra Leone, I'm telling you, because, man, see, I just love the place. I just love the place, trust me. I just love the place. Just see, very quiet very quiet so imagine people building these um hotels big big hotels it will it will be like a um, a getaway for for a lot of people you can even buy land here build your house and have your peace of mind i'm telling you build your house and have your peace of mind there are a lot of lands these lands i know it's for government these lands too are for government but there are lands around the airports there are lands around the airport, I'm telling you. There are lands around the airport. There are lands around the airport and the prices, sometimes when I compare it to Ghana, I see, I see that now, um, it's not really, it's not really that much. To be honest, it's not really that much. It's like a normal um, price for a, a land in some, somewhere like, that doesn't even have a, a, like an airport. You see in Ghana. So the place, to be honest with you, for me, I just love it. It's very flat. Um, as I said, I came here to build for someone. I'm into architecture designs. I'm from Ghana and I also build. And this is what brought me to Lungi. But I'm telling you, um, the moment I, I dropped from the plane or got down from the plane, and did whatever, got out of the airport. I saw the area and I was like, nah, this place needs a lot of improvement. And I feel like people should invest. People should invest. Have you seen birds? People want to plant. People want to plant. People want to plant. People want to plant. plants people want to plant see i just love this place i might say 
I just love this place. People should invest in the country, especially Sierra Leoneans that are outside. They should really try and invest in the country because this is something that is going to help the country itself. Trust me, people should invest. Don't be shy, just come around. Come and look at a couple of things, how these places and all that. Then just make a decision. Just make a decision for yourself because I feel this place has a lot of potential, if I'm telling you. People are just farming everywhere. Farming everywhere. But these are government lands, but I think the government has not developed it yet, so people are just using it for gardens and they are farming, growing something on, on the land. And this is one thing I, as I said, I love about Nunge. Because food is everything. So these are the things that I'm seeing and I'm sharing it with you. See, being here, there are a lot of ideas that I have in my head. And I wish people would just... See, if you are from Sierra Leone, feel free. I'm into building, so when it comes to some of these things, I know how a place gets developed. Just connect, just the government's connecting a bridge from here to Freetown, I'm telling you. This place will be the best place in, Sierra, in, in, in the whole of Sierra Leone, I'm telling you. Because one, they have a beach. Secondly, they have the airports. And imagine people coming around to invest, build um, hotels, apartments. I learned this place is a stadium. It's going to be used as a stadium, but now I'll say it's a park. So people just play football there. But it's going to be used as a stadium. Let me just enter a bit and see what they have inside but it's just a plain place that has been fenced very plain they don't have much they don't really have much though it's always open like this uh, it's always open it's always open i don't know whether people come around to train People are actually working. People are actually working. I, I, okay, like it's a stadium for the government. Yeah. And like, do they have any plans of like building, building a stadium actually? Hmm. I don't know, but maybe to ask. So currently, what do they do here? Like, do they well, like play, play football? football yeah. For what, the national team or uh, local leagues or what? Like national team and local leagues. And local leagues. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's like what they are doing. They are just trying to clean the place. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. I just wanted to know. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. So I learned um, it's, it's a stadium. He doesn't know uh, whether um, they will build a stadium, an actual stadium. Um, yet, maybe he has not heard anything of that sort. So meaning that will be in the future that will be in the future now, all these friends that you see is still the airport friends the land for the airport is very huge i'm telling you it, and it has been fenced all over it has been fenced all over all the place has been fenced and this place i learned is one of the uh um, joints when it comes to night chilling and it's a club actually it's a club so if you want to chill come to Lunge this place should be one of your uh, but as I said you see some of these places they are not really up to standard and I feel like people should invest in the country to improve some of these stuff because see there are places in, in some countries that I feel like, hey, when you invest in some of these things, people are going to patronize. You might think people are not going to patronize, but hey, stop being, uh, like saying people are not going to patronize. People are really going to patronize. 
will try and just invest something that will help. Try and invest. Try and invest. Try and invest. Try and invest. At the other time, we came here to ask for this place, um, for someone, and I learned, um, it's a guest house or let's say a hotel, they have a restaurant, they have a mini-mart, but it's going to be open very soon. I wanted to know the price, but the lady said no. Uh, she doesn't know the price, so maybe, and I asked, she said, um, by December, definitely it is going to op be open, so let's see. But I think it's a cool edifice. It doesn't have the modern architecture that I, 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 I'm always talking about, but hey, it's cool and it's new. So I think people can come around. Yeah. And this is also another nice club, as you can see. This is also another nice club. This whole place, we call it Transit International Night Club and Restaurant. So, this is also transit. This is also another place. But as you can see, you see, having a, 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 a modern um, club, even that one, maybe unless people go to like beach resorts and they have a couple of beach resorts around. So maybe unless people go to such places. I've actually not been there, so I've not seen how these places look like. But these are the things that I have seen and I'm showing you. This is um, Lunge Gateway Hotel. Lunge Gateway Hotel. This is what this is the assigned post. People are actually building. So the Gateway Hotel is on this road. The Gateway Hotel is on this road. The Gateway Hotel is on this road, and people are actually building, picking up structures. See, just invest. Let's invest in your country, Sierra Leoneans. I think the country has a lot of potential. And you guys should try and invest. This is Lea Hotel. This is a road to Lea Hotel, and this is the same road that will lead you to. And this is the same road that will lead you to. Um, the sea coach area to so we'll take you to the sea coach area so i'm trying to go there and show you the sea coach area too the sea coach area It was actually drizzling, so I had to um, just stand somewhere a bit and just continue this thing for you, for your sake. Because I've been in this country for, for some couple of months and I really, really, really want you guys, Sierra Leoneans, please invest in your country. Invest in your country. Trust me. It's not, I'm not saying this because this is actually my field and perhaps um, I want clients. This is Leah Hotel. This is Leah Hotel. If you know this place, you know. This is Leah Hotel. This is Leah Hotel. So um, just invest in your country. I feel like um, this place needs a lot of improvement, a lot of development, a lot of... Um, like, there are opportunities here. There are a lot of enormous opportunities here. Enormous opportunities. So I don't know why people are not. I know that, yes, people are investing. Definitely people are investing. But the kind of opportunities that I see here, and I'm not really seeing the developments, that's my problem. Because around airports, that you can make a lot of different investment. Like, you can do a lot, but I am not seeing that coming around. Construction should be just 
going on back to back, back to back, but it's very slow. I don't know why, unless if you are from Sierra Leone, just let me know in the comment section. But this is what I have observed, and I'm just um, asking why? Why? What is the reason? What is the reason? What is the reason why? I am not seeing much um, development going on in Lungi, especially because in Freetown, I know that lots of places are developed. Yes, and it's very busy. But when it comes to Lungi, that has the airport. I don't know why. And I'm asking Sierra Leoneans, tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. I think this is a government facility. This is a government facility that I'm seeing here. I'm going here, see, I think it's private. It's not for, it's, it's, it, yes, it's not for the government. So um, there are lands around and all these places, see all these places that I'm actually showing you, they are around the airports, like just 10, seven minutes drive, you are there. They are just around the airport so when you are coming from the main airport because the main airport the entrance is around the port local road from rotifung to port local road you just drive a bit and you are there so around the airport there are lands and i don't know why people are not investing you should be seeing hotels apartments airbnbs like um like better schools a lot of things around the airport you see like when you tell someone i live around the airport it's it's it, um i don't know how to even say it you see but when you come here it's different very very different i know that perhaps in the future it can happen but people who are going to tap into this opportunity now i'm telling you are going to be the first beneficiaries when it comes to Lunge and its development. When it comes to Lunge and its like development. So just tap in now. That's what I will say. Tap in now. Tap in now. Tap in now. So see all these areas. This side is not part of the government land. So all these lands too are here. I feel like it's very nice. You can easily invest. This is a government facility, so I understand that one, but other places that are very nice and their lands too are very flat. So why not invest in Lunge? See, the benefits are a lot. Because you might think a lot of people don't come around. Lunge is this. Maybe you, it's been a long time you traveled. If you have family members, let them come around. Let come in. You know, some it's not everybody that has that eyes. <laughs> so I understand that one too. It's not everybody that has that eyes to see the kind of development that if you, if you invest your money here, you will definitely benefit. You know, when you invest it wisely and you invest it well, a proper um, facility, like um, an apartment or whatever, I'm telling you, people are going to because I've seen a lot of white people come into this country, they have businesses and all that. So people have money, not even only the white people, but people actually have money to like, 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 yeah, like money to spend. So if you have a very beautiful place, I'm telling you, people are going to patronize. So I don't know why people are not investing in Lungi. I just don't know why. So I'm taking you to the sea coach. I've taken you to, I've taken you to the seabird. You've seen seabed, and now I'm taking you to the sea coach. The breeze here is very heavy because, as you can see, far ahead, that's the sea. That's in the sea that you can see. You can see far ahead. I've seen some ships, some big, 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 big ships on the on the sea. So this is the area. This is the area. Just look at the way this place is very quiet. 
just look at the way this place is very quiet very very quiet very very quiet this place this person that is building here is really going to get a, a very 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 nice breeze super breeze the person that is building here is really and i'm sure here you can find some lands around to buy i don't know place i just love the place this road the people that actually constructed these roads i'm telling you they really did well because hardly will you see any pothole in skin on 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 some of these roads hardly will you see any pothole on some of these roads just look at beauty the area but it's lacking investments it's lacking investments it's lacking investments you know because it's a hill they have a gutter that has been directed to the side so when the water comes it just goes to the side but i'm sure it becomes very heavy and if you are not lucky it can break this side all all of this side so that's why they have hills around these areas i think it's it goes right from here to the other side yeah they have a lot of hills to that um, the seabed area that i showed you so i think this is a facility for sea coach and this is the same Mahera Beach Resort, this building, Mahera Beach Resort. So this is a beach resort. But as you can see, as I said, um, it's a nice place, very cool, very um, simple. But we all know, I guess it's uh, an old structure and there is nothing uh, fancy about it. There's nothing fancy about it. And this is what I've been talking about in this video. People need to invest in Lungage, I'm telling you. So these are some of the hotels that when people come around, you see Mahera Beach Resort. Mahera Beach Resort. And this is where they have their sea coach. This is where they have their sea coach. This is where they have their sea coach. They have hills. Imagine you're, you, have, you, you, you have a building on top of this hill, like the way this building is. You, like you are going to have a very nice view. You are going to have a very nice view, a very, very nice view. Even if you are not from Sierra Leone, I think this is an opportunity for you to invest in Sierra Leone, in Lunge especially. For me, I'm making this video especially for Lunge. People need to invest in Lunge because there are enormous opportunities here that people can easily tap into. There are enormous opportunities here. So this place is the sea coach. From this road, you go to the sea coach area. And this is the place. This is the place. From here, I'm going to take you to the old airport. And that is where we are going to end the video. But I will also make a video talking about the airport itself and some of these opportunities that I've actually mentioned in this video. And I think um, there are things that I'll say about the airport. So that video too will come next. So don't worry. Yes, that video too will come next. So. Let's look at the place. The sea is full to capacity. Let's look at the area. Very full. So this is the sea coach. The express. This is a sea coach express. I think it's the sea that has destroyed this. It's the sea that has destroyed this too. So that is their boat on the sea, as you can see. All these ones, they are not using it anymore because I learned it has been damaged. So now this is what they are using. This is where they are using now. 
This is where they are using now. See, the beach is full to capacity, I'm telling yeah. you. Very full. But I don't know if you are watching on a bigger screen, I'm sure you will see. That is free town. That is free town. And been here, Freetown is not that foul. So constructing a bridge from here to Freetown will be simple, like one of the simplest things to do. This is Freetown, like if you are seeing the hills, that is Freetown. That is Freetown when man, 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 why? I think the government, they already have the plan to do that, and I feel they should. The government already has the plan to do that, but I think they should try and do that. It will help a lot. Trust me, it will help a lot. They should do it. They should do it. So we are continuing our journey. I said I'm taking you to the old airport, that's the junction, so this is what I'm doing. And also showing you around the way um, around the airport looks like, especially um, this is not around uh, like all, because the airport is, has um, a very big land. So the next video, I'll show you the other one too. Yes, or the other side too. Yeah, so. This is a pharmacy, as you are seeing. So, this fence that you're seeing, as you can see, cargo terminal, cargo terminal, and that's the old airport, the cargo terminal. So I'm taking you to straight to the junction, to the airport junction. Then that's where we are going to end this video. That's where we are going to end this video. And. The next video that I'm going to show you, I'm going to continue this and also show you from the airports or the old airports to the new airports. Yes. And also say a lot about the airports itself. This is also another hotel, Elite Light Hotel. Elite Light Hotel. This is also another airport. It looks light hotel. So there are actually a couple of hotels around. But as I said, you know, if you you've lived abroad and you come back home, you want to have that um, similar modern hotels sleep in some of these um, hotels. But I have actually not seen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've actually not seen these kinds of hotels or these type of hotels here in London, especially around the airport. And they have lunch too, so I feel like people should just invest. People should just invest. People should just invest. Because it's something that will really, really, really help. People are actually putting up structures. I don't know, maybe in the future they are going to be hotels, but when you look at the whole area, this is the place. This is the place. This is the place. We are almost at the airport, the old airport junction. We are almost at the old airport junction. We are almost at the old airport junction. To be honest, I want to, like, the next time that I'll make a video of Lungo, I really want to see structures popping up all over. <laughs> These are shops. This is a place that if you want to change your money or buy or sell your money or whatever, 
you come around the airport. So um, let me take you. This is the old airport. This is the old airport, as you can see, the junction. This is the old airport junction. This is the old airport junction, as you can see. So this is the old airport entrance. Old airport entrance. This is the old airport entrance. In this city. This is the old airport entrance, as you can see. The old airport entrance. So this is actually the whole area. Not too, a bit busy, but not too busy like that. Yes. A bit busy, but not too busy. A bit busy, but not too busy. A bit busy, but not too busy. So this is actually where I'm going to end the video. Thank you, thank you for watching and thank you for uh, subscribing. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much.